In a previous video, I showed you how easy it would be for your loved one to join a Zoom meeting that on their Echo Show that's already in their calendar. But you might have a few questions after watching that video, which I've included in the link below. And one is, well, how did the meeting get in the calendar? What did my loved one have to go through? The second thing might be, well, how do they know that, uh, that they should say join the meeting? How do they know the start time? And another one, what if they can't even say, even say that command? So I'm going to go through uh, some ways that you could handle that. First one about how the meeting got into the, their calendar. I'm going to leave that to a separate video. But for this one, we'll just assume that you know a way to get that in there, either by hand and pasting it in or whatever. The second question is, how do they know it's time? Well, if it's in their calendar, if you got it in, in there, there's a setting that you can make in the Alexa app, in their Alexa app, to announce calendar events. So you can do that and it will tell them it's time for the meeting. Uh, if you feel that one notification isn't enough, you could create some Alexa routines to make announcements and even guide them as to what to say to get the meeting started. Now, just to be clear here, the meeting time has to have occurred for them to be able to say to join the meeting. Because if they say it before the meeting time, even if the meeting is uh, running, they won't be able to join it because Alexa can't find it in their calendar. As you notice, I've changed the wake word so I can say Alexa a lot here. Probably messing you up. Anyway, um, what I'm going to do here now is show you um, another way that they could do this. So now as you've seen, I've added a couple items here. I've added a button. In my case, it's an echo button, but you could use any, uh, in, any other button that could trigger an Alexa routine. And what that's going to do is run an Alexa routine that'll uh, tell it to join the meeting. And um, it can do that through custom automations. But the thing it can't do is during the confirmation phase where you say, do you really, where Alexa says, do you really want to join it? And you have to say yes, it can't do that. So I have an old Echo Dot here that I have a second routine that speaks and it says the yes. So let's give, let's give it a shot now and see what happens. Grandpa. It's time for your family video call. Just say yes when Alexa asks you if you want to join the meeting. Do you want to join the meeting's family meeting? Yes. Okay. Okay. We're joining. Of course, right now I don't have any have anyone else in the meeting, but there I'm joining. So you can see that part. Now I'm going to do part three in a second here. I'll set that up, and that'll be the part where what if they can't? Um, well, let's see. Instead of using the button, if you want to automate it so they don't uh, forget where they put the button. So I'll show you that here in just a second. This time I removed the button. I keep the same Alexa routines. And this time they're going to be triggered by time, the time of the meeting. So I'll just uh, set that off now. Grandpa, it's time for your family video call. Just say yes when Alexa asks you if you want to join the meeting. Do you want to join the meeting's family meeting? Do you want to join the meeting's family meeting? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Notice I repeated it there a few times to be sure it got through. There's timing, of course. So um, the problem is you can't get a custom action to respond with a yes for the confirmation. So right now that's a problem, you don't have that available. So I have to use this extra echo dot. 
So again, this is a way to make it re really easy for your loved one. It can be automated. You can have a button push. Or, as I showed in the other video, just have them say yes at the right time with a calendar announcement. Now, I've included links to all this in the description below.